Hey, it's Enryu, and I'm sure most of you already know about the Nila changes, so let's first talk about the new build and playstyle for her on patch 14.20 after the micro patch nerfs. If you're interested in the context, you can save for the later parts of the video, but if you're only interested in the new build, then you can just watch the first 2 minutes of this video. First off, don't max E anymore, you can probably get 1 point into it for the extra 3.5 second cooldown, but that's about it. Keep in mind that you should be even more cautious using your E ability now because of the cooldown that will be longer than usual. Max Q first and try to buy as much AD as possible from the cheapest items, which will be Collector into Yun Tao as your core items. Then third item, build a Last Whisper item like LDR or Mortal Reminder, depending on which one you need more in the game, or Shield Bolt and IE. These items are always interchangeable depending on your economy, you know, if you're really ahead you can go for IE third, if you lack survivability you can go Shield Bolt. You should stay on the 300 gold boots until at least 2 items unless there are shoes that have massive value in the game like building steel caps versus a full AD team or merc treads versus full CC team. You need to hit your full items ASAP. This will be your main build in most games but in the event that the enemies have many tanks or bruisers, uh, specifically a melee support plus double HP topside like bruiser top plus tank jungle, just go play to the rune king build as per usual. The primary runes are going to be conquer, triumph, bloodline, and coup. Bloodline gives 85 max HP when it is stacked up, which makes us a bit tankier and synergizes well with our secondary runes, Conditioning and Overgrowth, which are the best scaling runes on Nila this patch. You can still go Inspiration Secondary, but I find it less useful now than the previous patches, and Cosmic Insight doesn't feel good anymore, and I'm willing to lose free boots for more tankiness when everyone does less damage due to the overall item nerfs. For summoner spells, Barrier, Cleanse, and Teleport will be your main options, Barrier is good in general, cleanses for CC, and teleport for when you are playing versus mages in the bot lane. That's it for builds, and now let's talk about the context of why we swapped up Nila's playstyle like this. Disclaimer, I am disappointed to the changes to Nila and Riot's overall incapability of understanding how their own champions work in relativity with other champions in the game um, within the same lane, which kind of shows from this Nila change. But I do appreciate the attention that they are giving Nila, and perhaps in a few patches she will be shaped up to be a champion that feels better to play. And right now we might just be going through some rough patches, but I think it should be okay. Also, I think it is by no means necessary or encouraged to attack any Rider or the balance team for these changes. I think that the Rider responsible for the Nila changes, Blake has done a lot of reflection on the community's suggestions, and he is trying his best, so we should not give him a hard time to discourage him from trying to make the champion better and more popular. On patch 14.20, the original plan was to buff Nila's E by reducing her E cast time from 0.01 second to instant. And this may seem like a meaningless change on paper, but in actuality it is quite a big nerf in skill expression and a small buff to quality of life. So why is this a big nerf to skill expression? It's because this change removes her E buffer mechanics on displacement spells. Most players don't know this and I doubt most riders working on a champion knows about it as well, but Nila E can negate the CC on most displacement effects similar to Dristana W. So think about spells like Blitzhook, Alistair Knockback, Vayne Condemn, Azir Ult, and Poppy Ult. These are all displacements that you can negate if you time it perfectly, and it's not something that is completely game breaking because this mechanic exists on other champions like Nautilus and Tristana as well. It is definitely a form of skill expression that the average player cannot do consistently, unless they practice a lot. With these changes to her E cast time, this mechanic is now removed and in return the ability just feels a little bit better to use for the average player, but most players probably won't even feel a big difference. But we all know that after these changes, Nila's win rate shot up to like 56-58% to 58 depending on the ELO and region. And that is why Riot then followed up with a micro patch which nerfed Nila's E and R. Let's first talk about the R nerfs because it is very simple. Just nerfing her damage scaling which hurts her team fighting and skirmishing ability which is good if Riot thinks that the champion is too OP in fights. And because Collector makes Nila early game a bit stronger, it's actually fine to lose some damage in the late game. What I find a bit disturbing is the fact that they nerfed her E which is her main damage source in the early game because in terms of early power, none of her skills will feel good to max anymore uh, because of the E nerfs. And you can only try your best to outfarm and gap the enemies through better wave management. Because contrary to what most players may think, Nila's Q ability is not the one you want to max first even though it might seem that way. If you read the actual numbers, her Q gets 5 base damage and 5% AD scaling per level. Compared to her pre-nerf E's 25 base damage plus lowered CD on her dash per level. This is very important because without her E damage, it's very hard to start fights and even win fights 
as Nila in the early game, since she won't have enough damage to finish off the enemy. Since Nila has a hard time getting on top of ranged targets in the first place, and then she has to finish them off with enough damage. And I'm certain that almost no one on the balance team plays her at a high level, otherwise they wouldn't nerf her like this. Because if you played Nila in Masters and above, you will know that the enemies get better and better at countering her low range. Keep in mind that she can have two E charges, so basically this means that she gets plus 50 damage in her combo every time she levels her E, which is huge in the early game. To put this into perspective, at level 5 with 3 points into E, that's an actual 150 damage in her burst combo. As a melee champion that deals with primarily ranged champions in the bot lane, this damage is very important because it is your only way of fighting back against ranged champs. Lowering her early game damage by this much on her E makes unfavorable fights almost impossible to win. This lowers skill expression and promotes AFK farming on the champion, which really doesn't make sense because when you are playing Nila, you are almost always expected to be down CS versus ranged champions just because of how range works in the bot lane and in the game in general. Taking away her skirmishing ability, which is her bread and butter, just doesn't make any sense at all when one item buff is the main culprit for why her win rate is so high. The buffs to Collector made her win rate go super high just because of how she synergizes with the item. But instead of nerfing the Collector, or hotfixing Collector to be a little bit more expensive, we hard nerfed Nila's damage instead, which is, which is kind of unreasonable to me. And the cherry on top is how Nila will start to lose the matchups that she should win, as usual, like versus Draven and Ezreal for example, simply because she will lack the damage to punish them in the early game. And it will be much more apparent in higher elos where players will have a better understanding of matchups and power scaling, which is already beginning to show since across the major regions her win rate is already plummeting and settling around 49-51%, to 51%, which in my opinion is quite bad for a champion that is mostly played by one tricks and players who main her. I'll probably start exploring more options and posting more videos on Nila gameplay, but it's definitely looking pretty bad for Nila if you want to play her as a carry in solo queue. My suggestion is to duo of a support main to make the experience more fun, but I might consider making videos for other champions that I'm good at in order to make this game more fun for myself. So maybe let me know if there's any other champion you want to see a guide on or any champions you find interesting. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.